on it. It's the qualifications that attracted me to the remit. There's a wide range of qualifications you can get. Driving licences. MVQ level two. MVQ level three. BTEC. HND. Degree, mechanical engineering. Education is important to the core to allow us to continue to develop people throughout their career. They can go on and continually improve. So to paint the picture for you, the is behind them. When you come straight out of training, you're a class three tradesman. Class three tradesman means you've got the knowledge, but you've not put it into practice yet. Basically, you have to be monitored by a class one. And then it's usually a six month period, you're working at that level, and you get class two status. Once you get your class two status, you can work on your own, but you still have to have all your work out inspected by a class one. And then there's usually four years at the class two level. You go back to line and do more in-depth trade, and then you come out as a class one. And that's when you start doing like all the vehicle inspections, training class three tradesmen. On your class three course, you'll initially get an MVQ level two, and then once you progress to your class one course, you'll get an MVQ level three in engineering. I'm currently working towards my MVQ level two. Once I'm in the field force, I can then knock that up to a level three MVQ. And then after a few years, if I'm selected to become an art officer, then that'll be working towards a degree. Art officer is the top role for the soldiers in the Remi. An art officer is a technical leader. So out in the field force, we'll manage a fitter section full of guys from different trade groups. At the end of the Art Officer course, I will be receiving a foundation degree in electronic engineering. The course itself takes 18 months. The qualifications you get are stuff you can use out in Silver Street. All trades in the room, you get uh, driving licences, so you get your normal car licence. You can also get trained to drive a heavy goods vehicle. I'm also hoping to pick up a few languages as well, using my learning credits. You're seen as a key asset to civilian companies, so I think it sets you up perfectly for life outside the Army.